Hi, thank you for joining me on this short Moselle training video on Moselle language, a programming environment. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Moselle as a programming language. As you might recall, in previous videos, we talked about the fact that Moselle language is procedural, a programming language, and also an algebraic language. In today's video, we are going to talk about the basic programming features within Moselle. And these features are conditions or selections, loops, set operations and logical expressions, subroutines if you want to define different functions and subfunctions, and data structures that we also talked about in previous videos. To start with, I would like to show you how you can create different procedures. As you see now, I created a procedure that takes two strings, and that's the name of the Excel file and also the CSV file, and later I can use that in my data reading processes. So now I'm going to bring the, my initialization block into my procedure. Simple as this. Now I just say that the names that I'm going to pass is this Excel file name. So now, as you see, I have a procedure that takes two entries of string. And when I call this procedure, I'm passing two uh, names, and that's for the name of the Excel sheet and the name of the CSV file, where later I use them as A and B in my initialization blocks. As you see, I brought my main call my functions right before the definition of my uh, functions. So for that, I need to tell the compiler that I have defined the processes within this procedure after I call my procedures. And for that, I simply add forward at the beginning of my declaration. Now I would like to show you how you can use selections, loops, especially logical expressions within your programming. To do so, I go back to my Moselle code. I have already created a procedure that I called uh, data processing. And I call my data processing right within my main model area after I read my data. And within that procedure, I have a couple of um, operations. So as you see, I have a for loop with some if conditions. So now you know the structure, how we can have an if condition being a loop. Second, I have another for loop, but this time I'm using case for um, the selection. And for example, in this particular case, if the product number is one or two, then it would change the value of the um, product profit based on this criteria. And if the product number is three, then it would just um, multiply the product profit by that value. And if uh, any other value of the product would be ignored, the value of the profit wouldn't be changed. Now, to show you how a while or a repeat until loop works, I have created a Boolean parameter called flag. I set the value of the flag to true, and while that value is true, it would enter the while loop. As soon as the flag value changes, it would exit the while loop. In the repeat loop, however, I have the opposite. If the flag value is false, it would enter and would do a set of operations, and as soon as the value of the flag is true, it would exit the repeat loop. 
So, so far we have covered the basics for selections, for loops, and for set operations. If you're interested in learning more, please uh, look at the reference manual in the Moodle user guide. Thanks again for joining me on this video.